and prices will soften according to the Redfin CEO as he addresses the housing market, mortgage rates, and housing inventory. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your daily dose of real estate. My name is Lewis. Please consider hitting that like button, that subscribe button, and leaving a comment. The comments really help me as well as others learn and grow. And without further ado, let's get right to it. The housing market is slowing. Tell me, Glenn, in six months, is the market going to be better or worse? Probably the same. Rates Why? are probably going to 6%. Inventory is increasing, sales volume will be somewhat fine, but prices are going to soften. Okay, so right out of the gate, Glenn is predicting that mortgage rates will probably go up to about 6%. On the positive note right now, mortgage rates have seen a small reprieve as of late. They're down to about 5.1% as a national average. They were a few weeks ago at about five and a half. So we have started to see mortgage rates come down a little bit. Hopefully that trend continues. But if they continue to go up, he is saying that that prices will likely soften. Let's see what else he has to say. So prices will soften. So therefore you, you'll, you're going to take, you're going to make it more affordable basically. So you're going to make up on the, on the hike in mortgage rates. How about the dynamic though of people who have to sell their homes in order to buy another home? Why, if I have three and a half percent or three and a quarter percent now, the thought of paying six percent for a bigger house is really tough. That's where the market is really going to be pinched. So, so many people are locked into the home they're living in now by a 30 year, three and a half percent mortgage. So, they're going to stay in that property forever. Maybe they will rent it out, but if they actually want to move up, they are going to have a hard time affording the next place. If you combine interest rates with what's happened to home prices over the past year, the mortgage payment for a median price home in the United States is up 43%. Okay, yeah, this is absolutely true. I've been thinking, I've been trying to think through this myself. And the fact is, is that sellers or potential sellers, rather homeowners, they have locked into really low 30 year fixed rate debt and they do not want to leave. If they're at three and a half percent or lower in some cases and they want to trade up, you know, they have to sell their property, which would mean that they would forego that excellent or amazing record low mortgage that they have, they'd have to go and move up to a place that is not only more expensive in price, but also they'd have to take a 30 year fixed mortgage that's going to be even more expensive. I'm actually wondering if the mortgage market is going to come up with some kind of solution to this problem where you could essentially transfer your mortgage from one house to the next. I mean, I haven't really, I've heard a few people actually talk about it, but I don't know that there's any product that actually exists and allows you to do that. Is, is now the time to buy? I mean, if sellers are freaking out, if you're opportunistic, maybe now's the time to take advantage of that before rates really go to 6%. I think so. Um, obviously, I'm bound to feel that way because I'm a real estate broker. But the honest truth is if you're going to stay in a house for five years, you're going to do just fine in this market and you're probably going to get yourself a good deal. If you plan on flipping the property or you're trying to make money as an investor, I think that proposition has gotten more dicey. Glenn, in a roundabout way, at least in my opinion, he is acknowledging that there is growing risk in the market. So if you are a home flipper or looking to purchase a home and just hold it for a couple short years, there is more risk in the market because we don't know exactly what is going to happen with mortgage rates or the broad economy. Now, if you're, if, now if your time horizon is going to be five years or longer, then there is less risk for you. You're less worried about where the price is on a weekly, monthly, annual basis. Can you give us some uh, nuance in terms of where the biggest slowdown can happen? We've gotten some de data points over the past couple of days. Toll Brothers had better than expected earnings. Those buyers tend to be higher end, higher income buyers. Williams Sonoma, um, guided higher. They tend to cater to a higher income household. What are you seeing in terms of the type of home buyers that will stay in this market that is more expensive? Well, it's the secondary markets that have been hit the hardest. So if you look at Tacoma, Washington or Sacramento, California, refugees who leave the Bay Area or the Seattle area looking for value have been going to those markets and just sent prices through the roof. And now those prices are taking a step back. We're also seeing affordable second home markets like the area in Sarasota, Florida, really taking a step back on prices. So that's where the price reductions are most common. One reason that the Federal Reserve hasn't been able to limit demand probably as much as it planned to is that when Charlotte gets too expensive, people look at Charleston, South Carolina. When San Antonio gets too expensive, people look at El Paso. We're seeing home buyers being much more omnivorous about where they live 
and what kind of home they want to buy than they used to be because remote work has untethered them. All right. So really great points that he is making there. And I can actually speak to some of the stuff that is going on in the Sacramento market. Like he mentioned, we have seen a tremendous amount of migration from the Bay Area, which is a very, very expensive market. So a lot of the folks that have migrated from, let's say, the San Francisco or San Jose Bay Area, they are coming up this way seeking affordability. And the prices in the Sacramento region over the last couple of years have gone up dramatically, somewhere around 20% year over year. And now we actually are starting to see the market cool down just a little bit. Um, price reductions are actually up a substantial amount, although it does seem like things are just normalizing a bit. It's, I wouldn't necessarily go out and say that it is a market crash at this point, but things do seem to be normalizing as mortgage rates have gone up. So only time will tell. We'll have to continue to follow that. But Sacramento would technically be a secondary market when you are comparing it to the Bay Area. So to his point, that kind of stuff is taking place, or at least it is in our area. That's what I'm starting to see as well. And then, of course, he touched on people that are working from home. They are being more and more selective about the areas that they want to live in. So if it's too expensive in one area and they have the ab ability to work remote, they are going out further into areas that they think are going to be desirable and have the amenities that they want. And they're just being a little bit more picky and a little bit more choosy. Anyway, that is all that I have for you here today. Please let me know what you think about the market in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. And if you haven't done so, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Be well. <laughs>